Good morning. Welcome to Tea with Jan. My name is Jan. Thank you so much. Today we are going to find ourselves a tea and a bit of an adventure. So not quite sure what we're doing. Um, Jeanette, my wife and I, we are currently on vacation, which is super fun. And we had plans to kind of explore our province a bit, but of course all of that is canceled. Nova Scotia is currently in another lockdown. Uh, and we're technically, we're not technically, legally, we're not allowed to leave our town boundaries. Um, yeah, but we're going to make it work. We're going to uh, check out some local stores and a lot of them are doing like different to-go things and we're just going to have a good time. Right, Jeanette? That's right. Yeah, we're going to make this work because vacation is a mindset and my mind is set. I don't know why this keeps coming to me. I'm so dorky. <laughs> All right, off we go. First stop, I think we're going to go to the local farmer's market. Now, one of us is only allowed in, so Jeanette's going to stay in the car or she's going to go in. Not quite sure. We'll see how busy it is. Well, I'm going to stay home. Oh, gracious. <laughs> Okay, made it to the farmer's market. I'm about to go in. Jeanette decided to stay at home. It's raining, it's kind of cold. It's like only like 12 degrees today, so not spectacular, but she did send me with a list, which is interesting. We'll see. <laughs> Let's get going. So usually this is completely packed with people and of course everything is like shut down and stuff. So uh, yeah, but we still got some goodies. It was so nice though. I ran into a friend who was very difficult. Um, she ended up sharing something with me very personal. She ended up crying and it was so difficult because all I wanted to do was hug her and I couldn't. And um, yeah, I think, I think maybe that's part of the most difficult thing with this, the inability to comfort somebody with touch. That's what I'm struggling with. Yeah. On a positive note, I get my first vaccine this coming week. So we're on the right track. All right, let's get home and I'll show you what I got. Okay, one more stop. I forgot we are going to get breakfast sandwiches from a local cafe, Jamali's, which they're like our favorite breakfast sandwiches. So a great way to start vacation as well. It's really very difficult being here on a Saturday morning, knowing how busy it usually is, but we're gonna focus on the positive that we are helping small businesses as much as we can. And uh, yeah, and we're gonna have some tasty goodies. And I can't wait to make a tea at home and uh, share that with you guys. So let's get going. Okay, so we picked up some wonderful things at the market. We got the Kara Kombucha, which is lovely. The Unicorn Blend from Aroma Maya. Um, I do enjoy some coffee every once in a while. And uh, yeah, I thought with Jeanette on vacation with me that we could do that. We got some Sugar Moon Maple Syrup, because you can't have enough maple syrup in your life and some, uh, what is this, a sheet lemon, a lemon cake, I guess, uh, by my friend Sylvia, as well as the, I can't pronounce it, Dolce, Delici, Dol, Dol, I can't, I can't pronounce it, but she said that there's like score bits in it, so I'm super excited about that, and then the Maritime Maple Barbecue, clearly I like maple, 
All right, I'm gonna make tea. I am going to use Morning Sex. It's a creamy oolong tea, and it's from the Silk Tea Co. MJ, I've done uh, an interview with her. If you were interested to learn more about the company, and more about her packaging. She actually even talks about that, about where she gets it from and stuff. So yeah, this is a spectacular blend and I am just like, mm, so good, so good. I've been having it the past few mornings. So yeah, so I'm gonna dive into that and the breakfast sandwich and then hang out with Jeanette. Okay, so Jeanette ran out and got our Clay Cafe basket of goodies. It's a like to go process that you can do. I guess, at home. <laughs> so fun, can't wait to do that. Uh, we are having tea, Jeanette um, wanted some green tea, so I'm giving her the little red cup and it's green eyebrow. And, uh, you know, I love a good theme. So we're just gonna keep going with this Silk Tea Co. And we are doing Golden Hour. Um, this is a smoky Assam black and creamy oolong tea with caramel and figs. And like I was saying, like MJ was so good. Like they smell amazing. They taste amazing. Like look at how gorgeous that is. So good. So flavorful. Um, I will show you the next. Here is hers. And there we go, we'll get these steeped up. I think we're gonna kinda like just relax. I actually made something on my iPad, so I was very happy about that. So like drawing like artistic with Procreate is the app I use. Look at how white that streak is. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna rest, watch some TV. And then maybe do the clay cafe, the painting, and we both got, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> um, pretty much finished this tea. This is the Golden Hour from Silk Tea Co. And it is good. It's not my favorite from their lineup. Um, it's really, oh, I don't know, it's strong. And as I was like finishing it off, I was like, ooh, I wonder how this would be as a latte because I, I think it could definitely handle that. It's it's very unique, like nothing I've ever tasted before. It's very, it's good. It's just not my favorite out of the four of their lineup. So yes, oh, just a smidge left. So, it's a rainy day and Jeanette and I are very lazy and I think I'm, I think I'm going to go have a nap. <laughs> Jeanette, what do you think? Yes. Yes. Nap time. Cause we're adults and we're on vacation. This is the little to go box that we got from Clay Cafe. And what did we pay for this Jeanette? It's like $5 a day, I think. For the to go box? Yeah. Yeah. So $5 a day for the to-go box and Clay Cafe is like a local cafe that Jeanette and I first started dating at. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, and you buy like a little something to paint, a clay figurine. So we thought this would be fun. Or a plate or a <gasps> yeah. ceramic Christmas tree with the lights, they have those. Yeah. Lights. Planters, yeah. plates, like, Peacocks. yes. So you can also add snacks. So I found this was so fun. Um, but look, there's like little thank yous. So this here is a thank you and it's full of candy, which is spectacular. I'm so excited about that. But you have all the paints, paint, I was gonna say paint tools. What are these called? Paint brushes. Oh my gracious. <laughs> but let me show you what we picked. We both picked Nora the gnome. <laughs> so we're not feeling up to painting our Noras today, but um, we were gonna chat about different colors and stuff. So I thought it would be a good time to show you guys what was in here. But how cute is this? So adorable. And Jamie the owner also included this here free gift to paint. 
and it's little seashells and we thought that would be so fun to paint and then put in our little memory thing of like usually we you know get shell like well rocks and stuff from our vacations or places that we go so this will be fun to add to that and these are oh and it also comes with like directions so fun so candy that I ordered I ordered the blue raspberry blow pop Twizzlers for both of us to share Jeanette gets the Sour Patch Kids. These hurt my teeth now. I'm so old. But I got a Mr. Big. Yum. And then the paints. So, yeah. And it comes in this little tote. And she, like, sanitizes them. And then you just drop them off at the doorstop painted. And then she fires them and glazes them and gives them back to you. So cute. I'm so in love with these. Jeanette, what do you think? Love it. Are you excited? I am. Those figures, I don't, did you say that they didn't come with the to-go to kit? Yeah, they don't come. So this you, you buy. buy yeah. You buy whatever you want separately. Yeah. And then you rent the to-go kit to paint it. The, yeah, the whole painting and, and stuff. Um, how much were these? Do you remember? Like $18 or something, maybe? Um, but that includes like, you know, getting them fired, fired and yeah. stuff. So yeah, they're so cute. She's just adorable. Yeah. And the candy. And we're supporting a local business that's not able to be open right now. So, yeah. That makes us happy. Okay, so we've been painting. I've been eating way too much candy. Like, all the candy. It's been spectacular. And I had an iced tea. And I made the secret garden from the Silk Tea Co. And this is a green tea with strawberry and honeydew. The honeydew melon is like really prominent and it is so delicious. I've had it many times hot and this is my, and, and then eventually if it cools down, I end up drinking it. This is my first time that I actually had it iced and it was so special, so good, very refreshing. Um, yeah, just spectacular. I really enjoyed it. I made it as an iced tea, so I made it hot and then cooled it down with ice cubes. So. And you want to see what I've painted? Now, it's not. It's going to look better once it's fired. So they give the example here. You can see the ladybug, how the ladybug, the colors pop after it's fired and glazed. So here we are. <laughs> uh, I think she's cute. <laughs> Jeanette, what do you think? That's very cute. It, like you need to do heart? three layers for it to be a solid color. Yeah, I did my three layers. But just in case your viewers don't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it does take a little bit. Like the first coat, you're like picking out all the colors and it's all exciting and everything. And the second coat, you're like, oh, this is getting a lot of work. And the third coat, I'm like, I can see why kids give up and just paint two coats. There you go. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> and then I am also painting. I got the shell and Jeanette got the... Sand dollar. Sand dollar. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we just need to finish this up and yeah, we still have a little bit of candy left, but they had nerds too. There were these nerds. I love nerds. Oh, so good. Is it a Canadian thing? Oh, I don't know. Do you guys have nerds? It's, um, let me see if I can show you. Oh, oh. Oh, all over the floor. There are these little hard candies. I think everybody has nerds. I don't know. Anyways, they are spectacular. They're horrible for your teeth, but uh, I also had a, a big sucker too. So I might be all blue, but anyways, this here tea is amazing. I should have showed you the tea, not the nerds. Let me eat these. <laughs> the last one. Heard it. Mm. Mm, it smells so good too. The nerds or the tea? Both, but the tea really. Is there a nerds tea? I'm sure there is. I feel like dessert by Deb would do a nerds tea. Yeah, like I feel like I've heard of them before. So beautiful. There's like 
Rose petals, I think, in it. Where's the ingredients? Sencha green tea, strawberry, honeydew melon, stinging nettles, peppermint, orange peels, rose hips, rose petals, and flavors. So good. Found it and packaged in the USA. We deeply appreciate your purchase. And if you didn't know, the Silk Tea Co. 5% of profits uh, help go to help end violence against women. So MJ's such a sweetheart. So yeah, her teas are delightful. Jeanette was actually very interested in the, um, the golden hour one. She was like, what was that smell? <laughs> that was so smelly. Like in, no, a, good, no, in a good way. No, in a good way. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is spectacular. Like all of her teas are so good. I'm very, the golden hour is not my favorite out of her teas though. The next one up is like the hidden gem that, yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, and now we are having a desert rose. This is so interesting. This is a decaffeinated green tea. I'm not a fan of green teas usually. And when I first tasted this one, I was like, mm, not my cup of tea. I gave it to Jeanette and she loved it. And I gave it another shot. I was just like, I don't know. Something just kept drawing me back to it. It smells so good. And it is now like a favorite of mine. Like this is my most favorite blend out of the Silk Tea Co's, the D Desert Rose. Uh, let me tell you about it. So it's decaffeinated Sencha green tea, roses, lychee, peony petals, cardamom flavors, um, and then it says that it's blended in Europe with premium ingredients from around the world in support of sustainable development. So good, and her packaging is so adorable. Let me show you. Like it smells like something that, uh, like a perfume, but a perfume that you want to eat. Like. And the ingredients are just so full. Like, this is, oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, so, it, it's just, it's perfect. And I've really been enjoying it for an evening cup of tea. And it just, if you enjoy florals, I think you'd love this one. I am like head over heels as a floral person. And I'm having some tomatoes with it to try to counteract all of those candies that I ate. And then we're gonna have popcorn and watch a movie. So that is our day, vacation day number one. I hope you enjoyed tagging along. I would love to hear if you've tried any of these teas or anything that you wanna chat about. I'm here to chat with you. So talk to you guys down in the comments. Until next time, take care, bye. Jeanette, you wanna say good night? And just if you're curious, Jeanette just didn't want to be on camera today, but that doesn't mean that she won't be in the future. So I'm sure you'll see her again. Bye.